Hi guys, uh, I'm in my hotel at Edinburgh at the moment, staying in a nice little Premier Inn um, that is being put up in Haymarket. Um, it's a nice cheaper variant, so um, it's a very nice place for you to be able to film these type of trip reports. Anyway, today I'm going to be travelling, or I have travelled already, uh, this is my post introduction as I've been very busy uh, in Glasgow recently, Or, but today I will be travelling on uh, Scott Rail's brand new class 385 electric multiple units from Hitachi. Um, now I've been meaning to do this for quite some time. Um, they are some brilliant little units apparently that I've been told. These are the ones that have been having the uh, windscreen cover issues where the drivers are saying that they can see the reflection of signals in the windscreen which has mean that or it's just meant that uh, Hitachi have been forced to replace all the windscreens uh, in the entire fleet of the trains that are being introduced. Hence. That's why the 365s have been moved up north from Great Northern, just so that they can cover whilst the 385s are having their uh, issues being dealt with. But today I fan finally managed to get on board one of them and travelled first class. So um, without further ado, I'll get straight into this mini trip report for you on LM Trip Reports. And once again, if you do like the video, please do leave a like, um, a comment, and please do subscribe right at the bottom of this page. Anyway, without further ado, let's, uh, let's start this trip report. Roll the tape. Here we see one of the units that I'll be travelling on today, the Class 385. Built by Hitachi since 2015 at the Newton Aycliffe plant near Darlington, the units, nicknamed the A-Train, were built to work on the newly electrified line from Glasgow Queen Street to Edinburgh Waverley, as well as other lines on the ScotRail network. Here is one departing on driver training shortly before my train is due to arrive. Here you can see my train arriving, formed of a 4-car class 385-1 and a 3-car class 385-0, with a total of 7 coaches available on this service today. The 3-car class 385-0s do not have a first class area, so if you do wish to travel in first class, make sure that you are travelling on a 4-car class 385-1 unit and you will be happy to travel in first class on that day. For this very reason, ScotRail do not offer first class tickets available on demand. You will have to upgrade when you get on the train, just so that you are sure that there is a first class area on that train, and that you have not wasted your money and a refund is due. Here you can see the new train arriving with the first class at the rear of the train. 
a beautiful service and I really can't wait to jump on board. So join me as I travel on this service to Edinburgh Waverley. There are lots of similarities with GWR on this service. It is a brand new Hitachi train, the first of its kind in the UK, and ScotRail are the launch operator. They are also suffering a few technical glitches here and there with the doors and uh, other bits of parts of the train, uh, but all this is just part of dealing with the little things um, while they arise. This is the first kind of its train in the UK, so I didn't expect it to be perfect. As we pass a class 170 unit, you can just see us approaching Eastfield Depot. This is one of a big selection of depots in the Glasgow area. Uh, home to the class 156s and 170s, but soon to be the class 385s. And this is a class 43 HST, which is another similarity to GWR. Uh, with this HST in the, in the sidings, it is an ex-GWR set ready to start another life in ScotRail.
station staff. Please retain all tickets for any onward journeys and for the automatic barriers that are in operation. Next time, I'll stop by the engine of Waverly. guys you join me back at my hotel here in Edinburgh um, I, this is just going to be a nice quick review of the Hitachi class 385 electric multiple unit trains that are in use now as Scott Rail um, so as you saw that was a really really good journey now Scott Rail are not a company who have specialized in first class at all really in their past um, now what you saw there was a first hint of just a short 35 minute journey and uh, what they are prepared to offer for a first class customer. So in that instance I paid just £10 for the ticket plus a £5 on the day upgrade fee, that's a £5 on the day upgrade fee uh, that is standard for that route and is a blanket fare so it won't go up and it won't go down, you don't need to worry about that. Um, for that you get uh, complimentary tea and coffee as well as a complimentary selection of snacks and confectionery which is definitely really worth it for the price that you're paying. It is a really, really good service. The cabin is a nice, quiet environment, um, and it is a really pleasant place to sit. I had a whole table of four to myself for the entire journey. I was really comfortable in that seat. It does recline up and it reclines down. It was a really, really good journey. And uh, the train guard was really kind. Um, we had a nice little chat uh, through the journey about the new trains and, and, and how they're doing. Um, so I really, really do find that um, a great experience from Scott Rail. Um, overall, my experience while I've been up north in, in Scotland has been superb. Um, I've had one cancellation over four days so far, so I am I'm b bewildered by that. Um, in stark comparison, when I was in London, uh, it took me just two minutes to find a cancelled train from St Pancras International. Um, up here, it's taken me four days, so that is something completely different. It just shows how our Scottish cousins are uh, running their railways. Um, a, a big shout out I'd like to say to Alex Hines, who is the uh, Chief Executive Officer or the Managing Director, whichever way you want to call it, uh, of Scott Rail. What he is doing, um, changing the face and revaluing the rail uh, of the Scottish um, railways into the hearts and minds of the people that work in Scotland. And uh, I think that is that is something that he really, really is doing really well. Um, I think he's hit the nail on the head with these 385s. They are really, really good units. Not to mention those junipers, the Alstom junipers that they have in service already at the moment. Um, I believe they're three, three, fours, but feel free to correct me if I've got that wrong. Um, they're brilliant. Uh, they've got a really good selection of trains here at the moment, and really didn't need to be replaced. But what they are replacing them with are some even better trains um, that are j just showing how how well the industry has become. Now, um, the next step onwards from this. Um, 
is to try out the new ScotRail HSTs when they start. Uh, I aim to do that on my next trip up, uh, which will be sometime next year in 2019. I'll be travelling back up to Edinburgh and Scotland to try out the new ScotRail HSTs, especially since they are keeping the Great Western Railway first class interior that I know and love so very much from my hometown. Um, so yes, that is something that we can definitely look forward to on this channel. Um, and so overall, the journey, I would rate it 10 out of 10. Absolutely brilliant. Um, and I don't think I've ever had a first class journey with a suburban operator that has just excelled my expectations so much. So yes, if you do have a spare five pounds on you, just five pounds once again on that blanket fare, um, you can upgrade to first class when you're on the train. Uh, you cannot pre-purchase these first class tickets. You have to upgrade them on the day. I was told by the train guard that is because a lot of the trains that still operate on that route only have standard class, so they don't want to make it unfair on the customer to buy a first class ticket and find that there is no first class on the train. So it is currently a upgrade only service, so you are free, free to sit there with, uh, with a standard class ticket. Uh, the guard will come around, upgrade your ticket, and after that you'll receive the complimentary items and snacks uh, as well as dedicated service from a customer host. So I am very, very pleased with that journey. 10 out of 10 and I really do recommend it. So if you do have some spare time, do try out the Hitachi Class 385s in Scotland. They are well worth the trip, definitely. Anyway, so if you have enjoyed this mini trip report, please do leave a like. Uh, a comment or a subscribe you can subscribe right at the bottom of my page there any additional support that you provide me is really grateful I have got more trip reports coming my next trip report will actually be tomorrow it's a short-term plan trip report actually um, or VSTP if you know the railway anything like me um, I have decided to to travel down to London with LNER in first class tomorrow. I will be doing a trip report on that, including the brilliant first class lounge that I've experienced at um, Lon uh, sorry at Edinburgh Waverley before. Superb, and I really can't wait for you to show to show you some of that. So do look forward to the next trip report as it is coming soon here on LM Trip Reports. Anyway, without further ado, I'll leave you to have a great rest of your day, guys. See you later. Bye bye.